Greetings, hey, right? Anonymous here again. Um, one of the questions, probably the question I get asked the most um, of everything else is to help give tips on the behind the back spin, what we in our system call the Eclipse Orbit. Um, most people out in fandom call the Obi Annie spin. Um, it's the, uh, the famous one where you go behind the back like this. Um, if, if you watch the prequels, any time that a Jedi has their lightsaber out, they're probably going to do this at least once for, you know, no apparent reason. Um, so it's a very popular thing to do. And we do include it as far as a technique that we do. Um, but, uh, and I've been kind of avoiding breaching this subject because it's something we don't like to emphasize a whole lot because um, it's really... It's really not a technique in and of itself that's going to be terribly useful um, all the time out there. Um, it's not that you shouldn't practice it. It's not that if you do practice it, you're wasting your time. It's that if you don't practice it, you're not really missing out on that much. Um, but anyway, that's our kind of opinion of it. But uh, to do it, to do it correctly, especially in our way of thinking here, the purpose is is to be able just to move the blade around, move the, the weapon around so that in certain situations you are not going to get tangled up. Now, um, <clears throat> one, one situation that can happen here is if I am engaging somebody there and they push my blade back here. It does behoove me to be able to take my arm out there if need be. Um, doesn't happen a whole lot, but it has happened before. Um, anyway, so the problem I think a lot of people have is kind of the name, the behind the back, and I always kind of emphasize this. Your hand and your saber don't actually go behind the back. So as I'm here and I'm doing my downward orbits like this, I put the tip down on that side, and on that side, and on that side, be careful to keep the wrist nice and steady, rotating the whole arm. Now when I come down to here, I'm going to come down, and I'll go down toward my heel again. All right? But this time, my hand's facing out like this. I'm not going to bring my hand behind my back. I'm going to keep it right here, and bring my wrist about this far from my hip. At that point, I just let the saber go a little bit more up, and then my focus shifts here to the palm. I will then turn my whole upper body around here, so now my pommel is pointing this way. That's how I know that when it is safe to, and I got my leg there, come out. Right? It's obviously easier to do fast than it is to do slow. Um, so as I'm going here, Pommel back and around. Right? There. You see? So as my saber is rotating like this, you see? This motion right there. Once this motion is complete, I then turn my waist so that my saber is on the other side of my body so that I can take it out. Um, <clears throat> don't go too fast at, at, at the beginning. Try to make it nice and natural. Use your shoulder, but keep it down. We don't want to shrug it up like this, which is very easy to do. We also don't want to hollow out. We don't want to like that. So you'll see this a whole lot, right? We want to stay upright. We want to keep our shoulder down. So that we can go on both sides. Okay. Now, as you're on this angle, you can see the kind of drawback to this is that it leaves my center unprotected for a pretty lengthy period of time, right? Because it's coming down over on that way, right? Whereas I can keep going back and forth when I keep it out in front of me. Um, obviously, 
doing spins and changing direction is where those come in handy a whole lot. Um, if you're going to start putting the stepping in, as you're going around, once you get to this position where you've shifted over to the pommel, as you turn, take your step back and then face the opposite direction. And as we know, if we're doing downward orbits in one direction, we're doing upward orbits in the opposite direction, like this. And then, I'll slow this down here, we come up, we go around this way, and that brings us full circle. Okay, and there we get the walking with the force exercises and all of that. Okay, I'll show it from the back here real quick, very slow. As we're going here, we come down here, around, there. Chest up, shoulder down. Blade goes behind, pommel comes around. Our basic technique is all the same. We've got about this much give in our hand. Our wrist does not bend all over the place. We're not gonna hold it here like this. If anything, it bends kind of up like this. As you notice, we're pointing it out that way. Okay, all right. So, little tip on the Eclipse Orbit or the obi Ani or the behind the back spin or the plum flower or whatever you wanna call it. Um, there's a little bit of the intricate technique and uh, hopefully it will help you uh, get it nice and smooth and uh, be able to uh, impress your friends with gasps of awe and fancy. So <clears throat> hopefully that helps. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, join us up on Facebook. Uh, until next time, have a great day. Happy sabering. <laughs>